What's up guys, my name is Anton Swears. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over how I got Apple CarPlay to work on my Dell XPS 13. Now, why would you want something like this? And the reason that I did was because of the screen size. It's a large screen size for, uh, I think, 13 inch, obviously. It's a 13 inch screen size, and with that, you get a large head unit, basically. Um, now, in retrospect, this is not a cheap head unit in any sense of the word. Um, Apple CarPlay head units probably roughly four to five hundred dollars for even the wireless ones could be more. Uh, this laptop at when I bought it uh, a few years ago was around seventeen hundred dollars. Uh, I like to call this my seventeen hundred dollar paperweight because as much as I love this laptop and what it offers with the touchscreen, it's the convertible. Um, I had had a lot of problems with it, a lot of problems with it with the BIOS, with um, uh, everything. I've just had a ton of problems. I bricked it a couple times, had to pull the BIOS battery, uh, had to send it for repair because I bricked it that bad. So there's a few things. It's not very uh, Linux friendly either, but you know, I've been able to get things to work when I need to. Uh, so the, the, really the forefront of this video is going to be about this dongle right here. And this is the auto kit dongle. You can get it on Amazon auto kit USB adapter. And I'll, I'll link it down below in the description. And what this does is it tricks your iPhone into thinking that whatever you plugged it into is a Apple CarPlay head unit. Now this can be an Android tablet. It can be even my Pixel has worked with it before. Um, but with this, it's pretty cool. So for this laptop, I've downloaded Android x86. Now the version that I'm running is 7.1 revision 4. And for this laptop, that's the version that I've found to be the most stable. So we can boot into that. Now, with that being said, Android running on x86 is not the best experience. I've even had this lock up on me while trying to record this video. So basically, there's some sleep problems. It will not sleep. If I close the lid, it'll keep the screen on. It can't handle sleeping. Um, if it tries to sleep at the lock screen, it will completely crash the device. So... There are some drawbacks. It's not a perfect 100% Android experience, but for these purposes, it does work. So how does this work? So of course, if you have a Dell XPS, you need a dongle because there's no USB ports. Not to say I don't like USB-C, I do, but you know, dongles are dongles. Then you plug the adapter into that. And then finally, finally I can plug in the iPhone into our adapter. My iPhone will think it's charging and this will automatically launch Apple CarPlay. And from here, it's just as if you launched into any our Apple CarPlay that you've used in the past, you know, built into your car. It works exactly the same way. You know, events, calendar, maps. I'm not going to press maps because I've already done that. It shows my location. Uh, you know, any apps that are compatible, it'll work. It's basically, you know, taking a small snapshot from the iPhone it's being tricked by this adapter, and then it's being brought into my screen's display. Now, how have I done mounting in my car? I have a Subaru Forester, and how I've done mounting, if you didn't notice, these metal pads here are magnetic uh, contacts. Just like if you have a magnetic pad on the back of your phone that you're able to mount, I took two of these, put it on the laptop. There's magnets in this spot anyway for, I believe the speakers are, I think, nearby underneath. There are magnets here anyway for the hinge mechanism. So if I if I do it and I take it and I put it into convertible mode, you can see the latch magnets automatically there anyway. So it does work out that the magnets are pretty strong. I've driven with it on bumpy roads, hit potholes, speed bumps, anything like that, and it doesn't really fall. And I'll, I'll throw a picture on the screen now of what it looks like in my car. But, you know, it works really, really well. Now you may be wondering, what about Android Auto and Android Auto does work as well with the head unit reloaded. Now the head unit reloaded app is pretty good. I'll, I'll even launch it. So in the head unit reloaded app, if I launch my Pixel here and I plug it in, it will and should automatically launch into Android Auto. So technically this is an Android Auto and Apple CarPlay head unit. So launching into this, you can see there's some differences. It, it's a little bit laggy. It doesn't, it's not as responsive. It does work though, nonetheless, it does work. Um, but there's a little bit more to be desired from Android Auto running on this laptop, ironically versus Apple CarPlay. 
Um, the adapter does help a lot, it seems, in just kind of using the sp- your iPhone springboard to uh, load the UI rather than the actual app itself. As you can see here, the icons aren't loading very well, but nonetheless, it is, you know, relatively usable. But for me, I find it a little too laggy compared to the Apple CarPlay. And just to kind of show you how far we can go with this, I'll, I'll even go a step further. I'll close the laptop, unplug the iPhone from there, and because, you know, USB-C is USB-C, and just like the tablet, we get Apple CarPlay. And as you can see how versatile this adapter is, we have an iPhone displaying Apple CarPlay on my Android Google Pixel. It's a little complicated, a little convoluted, but nonetheless unnecessarily cool just because you can do it. It doesn't mean you should, but just because you can. Now, how I've set this up with the Dell XPS and this Apple CarPlay adapter, what I would recommend that would make this system a lot easier and nicer to work with is getting the wireless version of this auto kit USB adapter. It would make life a lot easier in the long run just because you don't have all these wires. You can just have this. Um, it's very similar. I'll put a picture up, but it's very similar. It's just a se- separate box. It doesn't have to have be connected twice. So you can put this somewhere in the car, Velcroed somewhere, and it'll provide you the same connection, same functionality, and it'll just do the thing wirelessly with your iPhone. So this makes this setup a little bit more portable. And just like you saw before with my, my uh, Google Pixel, you can run this on any Android device. So if you have a Chromebook that's touchscreen or even a newer Android tablet or older Android tablet, you definitely could give it a shot and see um, if the adapter will work. Initially, I thought I was using the Android SDK on my uh, touchscreen Chromebook, but that was not the case. That barely worked and it was very laggy. What ended up happening was getting Android on this laptop and then from there, uh, it, w- it worked a lot better than I anticipated. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about Apple CarPlay running on my Dell XPS 13? Leave it in the comment section below if you think it's cool. I'm going to be trying to post more frequently on the channel. Uh, have some more cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned. And I will see you guys in the next video.